Hey gang, I'm Rob, and today we're gonna to talk about IP addressing. You ready? Let's go. Well, before we do that, let me tell you a little bit about myself so you feel a little bit more comfortable listening to me. So I'm Rob, I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. The bulk of my IT experience and IT training was actually acquired in the military. I was in the military for almost eight years, got the rank of staff sergeant, and I went from training troops to training students like you. I have over 12 industry certifications and my MBA, so I might know what I'm talking about. So enough about that, let's get into today's lecture. So first things first, what is an IP address? Oh, hey, didn't see you there. So just like your house needs an address so the mailman knows exactly where to send packages and mail, you need an address on the network so emails, video streams, and other data goes to the proper place. So in layman's terms, in real easy terms, on the network, your IP address is the address that emails and data is actually sent to. Without an IP address, it's going to be hard to determine where information is supposed to be sent to. Without an IP address, it's going to be dead in the water. So how does one go about getting one of these IP addresses? It has to be a super complicated, ridiculous formula that nobody would ever understand. So it's a lot simpler than you may believe. So your ISP, your internet service provider, actually provides you with a range of IP addresses. And those IP addresses can be applied to devices on your actual network. So once you have this range, those actual IP addresses can be applied to devices inside your network statically, also known as manually. But most times what happens is that the actual IP addresses are applied dynamically, also known as automatically. So if your IP addresses are allocated automatically, who's in charge of that? Who's responsible for that? How does that actually happen? Good question. In most networks, the DHCP server or the Dynamic Host Control Protocol server is responsible for automatically applying or dynamically applying IP addresses to all of your devices. So these IP addresses are actually assigned using the DORA <clears throat> So these IP addresses are actually assigned using the DORA. So these IP addresses are actually assigned using the DORA process. So we're not talking about that DORA, not the little girl that goes on adventures with her monkey, but we're actually talking about the process that the DHCP server goes through to give your devices IP addresses. So DORA is an acronym. It stands for Discover. Offer, request, acknowledge. So during the discovery part of the process, your device actually discovers the DHCP server. Once it discovers the DHCP server, the DHCP server offers an IP address to that device. Once the offer is sent, the device requests that they can have that IP address that was offered. Once that goes through. The last step is the DHCP server acknowledging that, okay, I shot this device, an IP address. They want that IP address, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that that device has that IP address. Again, we just talked about IP addresses and how they're assigned. Let's take a quick quiz and see what you remember. First thing, what is an IP address? Very good. So an IP address is just your address on the network. An IP address is just your logical address on the actual network. Very good. There's two ways to assign IP addresses, drastically and statically. Is it true or false? Very good. That is absolutely false. So the two primary ways to apply or allocate IP addresses to devices is going to be statically, also known as you manually doing it, and dynamically, or the IP address is automatically being assigned. Very good. Last but not least, what is the DORA process? Very good. So the DORA process is the process that a DHCP server goes through to assign IP addresses to devices. It stands for Discover, Offer, Request, and Acknowledge. So again, today we talked about IP addressing, 
DHP servers, and the door process. Have an awesome day, and other than that, I'll see you in class.